Hello. Google Cloud has been helping leaders in financial services, banks, capital markets, and insurance companies transform their business for a number of years. We see that trend accelerating as financial institutions shift their business to digital, and the pandemic has only accelerated this trend. We'd like to take a few minutes today to share our perspective on how Google Cloud can help financial services institutions. And now I'd like to hand it off to Yolanda Piazza, who has many years of work in financial services and who recently joined us to lead our financial services work at Google Cloud. She will interview Melanie Frank from Capital One, an important customer of ours, on their experience. Hi, Melanie. Thank you for joining us at Google Cloud Next On Air. We always look forward to speaking with our customers about how they are transforming and innovating to drive impact across their companies. So let's dive in. So Melanie, what do you see as the biggest challenges facing financial services, and more specifically, Capital One? Great question, Yolanda, and thanks for having me. Um, I think in financial services, one of our biggest challenges, quite frankly, is legacy technology, right? Older technologies tend to rely on infrequent batch processing, and they're just really unable to provide our customers with those real-time and intelligent experiences that they expect. Um, luckily for me, um, getting to work at Capital One, we recognize this early on, and we've actually been on a seven-year digital transformation journey. Um, that comprehensively reimagined our talent, our culture, how we work, um, and the technology infrastructure behind it. So given the current environment, financial services companies face continued pressures to transform. So can you tell us about Capital One's experience with folks working from home and how it has impacted the overall productivity? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think super lucky for us that journey and that investment that we've been making to modernize our technology, um, right? It, it's continuous and it really paid off. Um, we've had a vision for quite some time to enable our people to work from anywhere on any device um, at any time. Um, and that really paid off as everyone just, you know, took off uh, um, from the offices, unable to work from them and was working completely in a distributed environment. And so investments that we had made in, in our platforms, um, in our VPN capabilities, um, in audio and uh, video conferencing solutions, and in our collaboration suite like G Suite um, really paid off. Great, so if you can tell us a little bit about why you chose G Suite. Yes, um, for very specific reasons, um, first and foremost, um, it goes back to the vision of any device, any time. So our prior solutions just had very in inconsistent experiences uh, between PC, Mac, mobile, tablet, and we really need to be able to seamlessly um, switch between those devices as we work together. Um, so that consistency and device experience was one. Uh, the second was on the collaboration experience itself and that real-time collaboration experiences, the ability for multiple people to edit and collaborate and share content within a document at the same time. Um, you go back to that COVID scenario, right? That has really, really just become even more important in the current work environment. The third thing was, was we had an eye towards what our talent and our people in the future talent needed and wanted um, from a tool set. So while we have a very large enterprise um, that was really fairly well entrenched with our old tool, we knew that G Suite um, was the preferred and is the preferred choice uh, for the majority of the generations now and upcoming. And lastly, uh, we, we knew that we would benefit quite a bit from the power of ongoing innovation that Google brings um, to G Suite as a product. So talk to me a little bit about the migration to G Suite. Um, I'm sure this must have been a major operational shift for the associates. Can you share some best practices for how you implemented change management and the lessons learned? Yeah, I mean, I think first it's to acknowledge that you have a lot of muscle memory built up in your enterprise, depending on um, you know, how long it's existed and how big it is. And that is the main thing to tackle here. 
And so while our, our biggest learning is that you cannot actually overinvest in change management. So if you think you've if you think you've invested enough, you have not, do more. Do more training, do more communicating, do more everything, right? We engaged early adopters um, within our teams, um, thousands of them who, who were going to adopt the tools easier anyway because they were excited, right? That's what the early adopters do. Um, we use them to help understand how it would affect the enterprise. And then as our, some of our extended change management team, as we went live for the broader enterprise, we invested heavily in the administrative professional community um, as they had a major change curve, as they were trying to be just as productive on day one of G Suite as they were the day before on the old tools. And calendar, calendaring is a very different um, experience there. Lastly, I think it's that executive population, right? You, you really want and need to have those as sponsors of this type of a change for their organizations um, and acknowledging that they work very differently from the majority of their team and they may not actually see the full benefits of the collaboration that the rest of their team does. And so how you can target the things that they will see, they will benefit from, help them understand what their org gains from it um, given that they're not necessarily collaborating on content with each other in the same way that the rest of the organization is. Melanie, thank you for sharing Capital One's journey with us. Very much appreciated. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching my Q&A with Melanie Frank, SVP of Technology at Capital One. What a great story of collaboration and innovation. I'm excited to be here with you at this incredible digital event. Financial service companies face continued pressure in the race for business transformation. Now more than ever, the pace is set by technology disruption, shifting customer expectations and regulatory developments. In many ways, recent experiences have only accelerated the need to digitally transform. Financial services organizations have unique requirements when it comes to security policies and standards around data residency, identity and access control, as well as regulatory and compliance obligations for risk management. Cloud technology presents significant opportunities to help financial institutions standardize in multi-cloud or hybrid environments, streamline tasks related to compliance and governance, improve visibility through the use of analytics, and minimize complexity with modern collaboration tools. Google Cloud is committed to helping financial institutions adopt cloud technology and digitalize for the future. We see three main transformation opportunities specific to financial services. First, banks can reimagine customer relationships by using data analytics and AI to get a 360 degree view of their customers, launch more tailored offerings and provide more helpful services. Second, financial institutions can transform and modernize data use while machine learning. And finally, firms can improve operational efficiency across their businesses, not only to automate low-touch manual tasks to tackle an ever-growing amount and complexity of data, but also mitigate risk. Operational efficiency can also allow their employees to focus on more strategic and rewarding business needs. And Google Cloud can be your partner in this journey of transformation. Now let's talk about how we can do it. We believe it's important for customers to have the choice to run their operations in their proprietary data centers, in our cloud, or in multiple clouds. We also have a data center migration framework that many customers have used for rapid migration to the cloud to run SAP, VMware, and many other workloads seamlessly on our cloud. We have regions to serve our customers across the globe, this geographic scale and distribution of our infrastructure is critical to support our customers' redundancy and operational resilience needs and address concerns about a single point of failure. Google Cloud has partnered with Oracle, SAP, IBM, and others to help modernize financial institutions' legacy systems. Our data and analytics capabilities can help with data management needs through data warehousing, data lake, streaming analytics solutions. Additionally, Looker, our latest enterprise data platform acquisition, provides data science models and pipelines and natural language query interface tools. Financial services interactions are based on trust and security and privacy are absolutely critical. Currently at Google Cloud, we're focusing on three key areas when it comes to security and privacy. Confidential computing, 
to encrypt customer data during processing everywhere, data privacy and protection, threat visibility and protection. You'll hear more about these three topics in our breakout sessions from JP Morgan Chase, Deutsche Börse, and Credit Suisse Labs. Since security and privacy are top of mind for many financial services executives, I'd like to highlight how we engineer our products and solutions with security in mind by default. First and foremost, Google Cloud never sells customers data to third parties. Second, your data is encrypted at rest and in transit by default. Third, our zero trust security model builds upon eight years of building zero trust networks at Google, combined with ideas and best practices from the community. Finally, we are committed to providing customers the right security and operational controls to protect their data and systems in compliance with regulatory requirements. We're excited that so many financial services firms are leveraging cloud-based technologies now more than ever. From electronic trading to everyday banking, financial services are being enhanced for what's next on Google Cloud. Retail banks are adopting customer-centric attitudes and transforming everyday banking experiences so their teams can collaborate more effectively and their customers get better offerings. Our offerings help banks in three ways. They can accelerate omnichannel banking from personalized digital banking to helpful contact centers using AI digital assistance to our most recent PPP AI lending solution that helps lenders process payment protection program loans quickly and efficiently, leveraging AI. Google Cloud offerings can also transform data and analytics so that banks have all the power they need to calculate risk, liquidity, capital requirements, and more. With Google Cloud, banks can modernize core operations, which includes mainframe optimization and hosting core banking systems, payment gateways, and open banking APIs. Major capital markets firms are also discovering new opportunities despite market uncertainty. Google Cloud can help in three areas. Our new data share platform can bring the entire capital markets ecosystem exchanges, market data publishers, aggregators, and consumers to an exchange, letting them monetize market data at scale, securely and easily. Hedge funds and asset managers can transform quantitative research and trading with high-performance computing and ML capabilities. Trading institutions can use Google Cloud to speed up analytic processes 10x, from market risk calculations to portfolio modeling, derivative pricing, and regulatory reporting using numerical simulation, hyperscale compute, and ML tools. Google Cloud can also help modernize core operations, so firms can optimize the cost and processes, creating more resilient operating models. And insurance companies are leveraging Google Cloud solution across these three areas. To transform customer relationships from smart virtual agents to policy and claims automation for more streamlined and faster experiences. To advance data and analytics, especially when it comes to 360 customer analytics for a more tailored offering and actuarial simulation with AI to mitigate risk and losses. To modernize their core operations covering the entire stack from infrastructure, applications, data centers, and others. Here is a sampling of the variety of financial services customers who are currently partnering with Google Cloud to transform their businesses. At Google Cloud, we support customers' existing IT investments by working closely with our expanding ecosystem of partners, technology partners, service partners, and ISVs. And together, we can help our customers successfully solve their most difficult problems. These are the customers that are already innovating with Google Cloud. As you can see, Google Cloud can help financial services companies on their transformation journeys by enabling them to reimagine customer relationships through data analytics and AI, by transforming and modernizing data use with machine learning, and improving operational efficiency across business lines by automating low-touch, manual tasks, and mitigating risk. Let's take a look at what another one of our amazing customers is saying. I invite you to watch this short Q&A with Google Cloud CEO, Thomas Kurian, and Sartak Patanak, CIO, Government Securities, Clearance and Collateral from the Bank of New York Mellon. Sartak, it's wonderful to have you at Cloud Next. Here at Google, 
we're always looking for the big ideas that have the ability to drive transformational change and impact. Sarta, can you talk about how important innovation is for BNY Mellon? Thank you, TK. BNY Mellon's purpose is to power institutions and individuals to succeed in the global economy. We are a global, systemically important financial institution, and the role we play in the markets, it's critical that we build a modern, resilient, and digital first platform. In a fast moving world, innovation is central to everything that we do. We have a culture of being nimble, encouraging curiosity, diversity of thoughts and experimentation. Our collaboration with our clients, partnerships with fintechs, big techs, our access to data leads us to reimagine and build unique products and services. Take us back to the beginning of your cloud journey. Where did it start? How has it evolved? We have a bimodal approach to our technology strategy. Mode one, over the last couple of years, we have made significant investments in decomposing and modernizing our transaction platforms, running in a best-in-class, secure on-prem infrastructure. In parallel, on mode two, we are investing in cloud technology to be the basis of our innovation engine. The cloud platform allows us to focus our digital capital on experimentation. We can then leverage the tremendous amount of broad, granular, and historical data to quickly test our business ideas. We have built a great data engineering team, coupled with the deep subject matter experts, has allowed us to engage with our clients and build market-leading solutions. Can you give us some examples of how you're using our machine learning and data solutions to create measurable business impact? The US treasury market is the largest and the most liquid market in the world. We are the sole provider of clearance and settlement in this market. On a typical day, we settle $8.6 trillion. We see that about one to 2% of the transactions fail on a daily basis. This failure impacts our clients in terms of liquidity shortage, additional capital charges, and transaction field charges to our clients. We partnered with Google, leveraging Google Cloud Platform to see if we can predict the probability of a transaction fail 90 minutes before the market close, giving our clients an opportunity to resolve the spending transactions. Why did you choose Google Cloud as your partner for data-driven innovation? The democratization of access to data and insights is a game changer for us. BNY Mellon has invested heavily in becoming a data-driven organization to put data in the hands of all decision makers. This means lowering the barriers of access of data beyond data engineers to software developers, business analysts, production support, product owners, and client-facing teams. Google is a data company. The rigor around the data process closely aligns with how we at BNY Mellon think about data as an asset, such as data acquisition, profiling, organization, controls, lineage, and version management. In addition, what we found most impressive is the culture of engineering at Google, which aligns with BNY Mellon's engineering first culture. And the direct collaboration between the Google engineers and the BNY Mellon engineers to solve a business problem. Thank you, Sartak. That's a wonderful story on how our platform is helping a leading financial institution, BNY Mellon, to get better insights from their data and to transform an enormously important financial market globally. Thanks for watching. And I hope that you have a chance to enjoy other sessions on Next On Air.